Welcome back to Fishing with Vance. And yes, it is finally here, the day that I take my boat out and do a little fishing. Uh, it is a beautiful day here in PA. It's nice and sunny. It's a March day here and it is, uh, it is supposed to be about 65 degrees today and sunny. So, I thought I'd take the Bass Raider out, give it a go. Today's going to be about, uh, probably not about catching a lot of fish, but uh, we'll see. I'm going to go toss it around a while. But uh, what I am going to do today is test out two of the mods. So uh, the new mods that I did over the winter, as you guys probably already saw, if you haven't, check those videos out. Put a link in the description for them. But uh, the two mods I'm going to test today, number one is going to be the, uh, the new manual anchor system the pole anchor I'm uh, gonna give that a shot um, so built that we're gonna try that out it's a little breezy so I think I will have an opportunity to try that and second is the uh, the new single man table it's just gonna be me today because I probably won't fish that long if uh, fish aren't biting and then once I get my tests complete then uh, it's just gonna be me so let's see what happens uh, I got this thing secured pretty good and right now, uh, I'm going to test to see how this thing rides to the lake. Uh, here's the anchor itself, the pole itself. It's attached to some clips. Should be okay. And uh, we'll see what happens. But here we go. I'm excited. Officially kicking off 2021 fishing season on fishingwithvance.com. All right, guys. Welcome back. And out to the lake, as you can see. Uh, got the pelican off the old caravan trailer here, no issues. Um, first impressions of the table, um, it is small and I'll uh, probably uh, switch to a little bit of a smaller bag. Uh, I think this will do the job, but we'll see if it's, things get in the way or whatever. I doubt it. I have a smaller bag at home that uh, I can make up a, a single man trip for, but we'll see. I, uh, uh, other than that, pole holders look they're, like they're going to be perfect. Recessed, we'll see. Uh, power pole's in position over there. We'll see how that goes once I get on the water. And uh, we'll go from there. So let's put this thing in the water, see what happens. All right, guys, early indication is table seems to be all right. Might have been wrong about the size because now that I'm on here, it fits right between these these uh, pole holders just fine so I think it's gonna be all right see what happens I got plenty of wind so we we'll have plenty of chances to try out the uh, the anchor um, so let's cruise away we got a few bank fishermen here so let's get out of their way check the water temperature here let's see what that is and uh, Get a reading on that and I'll let you know what that is here as we cruise around on the maiden voyage here. Oh, how exciting. Oh my goodness, it feels good to be on the water. Uh, it's a long winter, but uh, it is, uh, feels good to be out here. I don't, I don't care if I catch a fish or not, it feels good. Uh, it's still a little breezy. I bet you it's probably only about 45-ish right now, maybe 50 if we're lucky. And uh, but I want to check that water temperature. I'm gonna guess. Eh, I'll guess low 40s if we're lucky. <laughs> All right, we'll let that do its thing. It's already dropped down to 50 since it's in the water. But uh, let's let it do its thing. And uh, go from there. I know that I won't be able to trust the anchor here because it is. Uh, I only brought eight feet worth of anchor today. I only brought the eight foot pole. It has an extension for the ten to make it ten foot. That should work pretty much everywhere. I know this is probably right at ten feet or a little below that. So before I try the anchor, I'm going to throw a few. Let's toss a few, see if we can't snag a fish and just see what's up. Water temps still showing like 48 degrees, which I'll tell you, if it's, if 
it's you know water temperature is going to stay that high I might be able to might be able to catch a few fish let's see what happens fishingwithvance.com if i hook something i'll bring you back here fishing with vance i may have a fish to get off the skunk and i don't he come off he was right there uh i think it was a crappie that's what it looked like to me pretty big old crappie he come off right there oh skunk is still on the boat all right guys i'm gonna give this pole a shot and see what happens here um I brought the handle up here so this way this thing works is it has a you know handle handle assembly and this is just connected to the fiberglass piece for the handle and the handle using that uh, jb weld it seems to be pretty tight we'll see what happens when it gets wet the wind is wanting to blow us that direction so i think the, the i believe that the uh depth here is about four or five feet so i should be okay um i'm gonna go ahead and throw this handle on probably could have done that before i got here but i wanted to wasn't sure which one i was bringing so it's not that big a deal as you can see it screws right on and uh obvious one drawback of where that is is when i'm bass fishing it's gonna i'll have to cast around it but i really didn't bring this i really didn't i don't anticipate using this a ton when i'm bass fishing because i tend to stick and move anyway when i'm bass fishing you know like most guys up around the <clears throat> the um shoreline so i don't anticipate doing a ton of that anyway so i i'm not worried about it the main reason i got the pole was i wanted to be able to and all i'm doing here is lowering the clamp so that it, when i want to run to the next spot i can the clamp will keep us from moving so all right let's see how this works handles in place let's put it in the apparatus and down she goes So much for this being uh, eight feet here, huh? Or five feet? I think it's more than five feet right here. Wow. All right, so tough place to try it, but it's okay. Let's raise her up. It's too deep of water, that's all. Raise this up like this, and I should be able to run with it like that. That was the idea of that. So, looks like it's okay. I just tried it in too deep of water. Still 48 degrees. Interesting. I thought that was deeper, that was shallower, but that's so that's over eight feet right there. I'll tell you what, let me take this off, see if we can touch bottom at all. Wow. So you're telling me this thing is more than 10 feet down. Because this is definitely, that, it's not even hitting bottom at six feet. Hmm. Well, unsuccessful test. I'll put it away for now. And then Try it again later, maybe down the canal and see what that does. So let's put this thing on the storage. But not over yet. We'll try it at 10 feet and see what happens. See what happens. Alright guys, I'm going to give this another shot here. I'm in definitely shallow water. Obviously you can see the bottom. There's not a ton of wind over here, but right now I want to tie on a different color tube. I'm going to throw my, my mustard color on because the water's pretty clear. 
and uh, I'm getting a little bit of drift here and I want to stay in place while I'm while I am rigging so let's see if this thing will work at least for this in this amount of depth of water it should but let's just see so throw this guy down all right so we finally hit bottom that's good now, now see this is a rocky bottom this is not gonna work It's not working because it wants to, if the boat slides away, it's, 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 the hooks are not keeping this from swinging. So that's not going to work. Even in bets of conditions because as soon as it wants to swing away it wants to do that even if it's way down in there see it's, it's not going to work huh well unsuccessful test on the shallow water anchor system because it wants to swing so we'll have to come up with something else or come up with a way to secure that to the boat I don't want to drill holes oh, that time I hit that time I hit a rock so but Again, even if it's down in the water, I'm pushing away by doing that, and it's it's not going to work. All right, well, that's why you test stuff. Back in my prior life, we used to say, unsuccessful test. That's what that is. Let's see if the stuff at least stayed intact. I believe it did. All right, so... I don't know if it's back to the drawing board or we modify that in another way. Again, one of my biggest issues with it is I want it to be portable so I could take this thing on and off. You know, maybe that's not that big a deal. Maybe I have to permanently mount it by, you know, drilling something into the boat, I guess. I don't know. I don't like that idea. Hmm. So. I don't know. I don't think the, the eye bolt is a good idea up here in the sense that it's just going to get in the way of my, of my, uh, trolling motor. I do like it for, you know, if I was going to fish with no, no motor at the other location, it's very weedy and, uh, this could come in handy for that, moving around a lake. I'll tell you that much. I feel like one of those dudes, like that, you know, when you're fishing for tarpon down in the Florida Keys, you know, with his his big pole, <laughs> you know, pulling you around the keys. That it works for. I'm sure it works great. I just got to figure a better way to secure it to the pelican. So, unsuccessful test on this. Um, I'm gonna tie a, a uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tie a mustard tube on this thing. Toss it around for a while. It's just a gorgeous day. I didn't think I'd catch fish, but I'm not giving up yet. Mostly wanted to test the pole system, which, as the young ones say, is an epic failure. It's a failure. But the table, I think I'm liking. It's a little on the small side, but again, it's just for me, and I still can throw some stuff out there. And again, if if I end up using this someday where I put the table back in the back, and if I have a, a 
a gas motor and I sit in the front with a trolling motor, I think this would be the way to go as well. But even for this kind of trip, I mean, I, it, I, I've got room on the table. It's, it's fine. I'm sure I'm going to really love it when I'm loading it back in my uh, truck to go home, how light it is when I go down and off the, uh, the boat. So I'd call the table a pretty good success. I would call the the portable shallow water anchor system um, a failure so far. But not going to give up. We'll see what we can do. I'm going to wrap the video up here unless I catch a fish. If I catch a fish, I'll tack it in here somewhere. But if it uh, just goes to the credits, that means I don't catch anything. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for joining me today for this video. It's March. It's beautiful. I'm not going to complain because I'm out here on the water, fresh air in my lungs. So thanks, you guys, for watching. I appreciate it. Love the comments. Subscribe if you want to, and definitely leave a comment. Anybody interested in a sticker, let me know, and uh, we will get fired up. This is just the beginning of 2021 uh, fishing season, so... Uh, it's just good to be back out here and and uh, breathing fresh air Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time on fishingwithvance.com Baron out